So Helen Ruth Dockeno of Rivers of Life Bible Church. I'm bringing the word of God from Majesty Christian Television Network, a new channel that God had given to us to prosper the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget, my hour all the time here is called the miracles of Jesus Christ. Why? Because I want to point us back to uh, the, 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 the beginning, the genesis of the gospel. It's all about Christ and Christ alone. And I repeat that in these days, we many people are preaching messages that are personally or pers personal enhanced pro uh, pro uh, messages, personality enhanced uh, messages. I beg your pardon. That means how people can be personally enhanced, how they can improve on themselves, how uh, how they can improve on their on their on their status, how they can improve on whatever they are doing. All of those things they are very nice. But we mustn't lose focus. <clears throat> we mustn't forget that the gospel is about Jesus and Jesus alone. He has to be the first, he has to be the last. He has to be the one that is in the middle. He has to be everything for us. So that is why I'm bringing us back to track so that we don't lose our focus and be pursuing only miracles and be thinking about how to seven steps to getting married, eight, eight nine steps for you to, 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 to prosper in the next business. That is good, but that is not the focus of the gospel. It's about knowing Christ and knowing him in the fullness of his glory. <laughs> And when you come to know who Jesus Christ is, you will not be pursuing for miracle because miracle will hit you wherever you are. As I'm about to bring this message to you, I want you to zoom up and position yourself in the atmosphere of receiving from Jehovah. Miracle will hit you. Miracle will come to you. Why? Because Jesus will be the focus. And where Jesus is, miracles happen. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you for tonight and I thank you for such an awesome presence of God upon this studio and upon my life this hour. I thank you, Lord, that I decrease that you increase more and more in my life. 
I bless you for all our listeners. I bless you for all our viewers. I bless you for every man, every woman, every child, every adult that have tuned in into this network tonight, Lord, to, be, to, to, to receive the word of the Lord. I thank you that their lives will not be the same. May the word of God go forth out of my mouth and let it heal the sick. Let it raise those who are down. Let it, oh God, restore those who are brokenhearted. Let it open doors for those who knew, need favor from Jehovah. Let the word of the Lord strengthen somebody's spirit. Let it, oh God, cause a sinner to repent and to come back to the saving knowledge of the Lord. And may all the glory and all the honor be given unto you and to you alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody joyfully say amen. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm bringing my, God, my, 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 my topic tonight. I'm taking it from the book of Acts of the Apostles from chapter 3. And don't forget, this is the miracle hour of God. And the, we are bringing to you the miracles of Jesus Christ. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3 from verse 1, I read. The Bible says, one day Peter and John went to the temple at, the, at, the, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the hour for prayer. There at the beautiful gate, as it was called, was a man who had been lame all his life. Every day he was carried to the gate to beg for money from the people who were going into the temple. Do you, did you notice that? Is that written in your Bible? If that is your Bible, please underline it. Carried. He was carried to that gate to beg for money. Underline it. He was carried. Every blessed day. By people to that very beautiful gate to go and beg for money. When he saw Peter and John going in, he begged them to give him something. They looked straight at him and Peter said, look at us. <laughs> so he looked at them expecting to get something from them. But Peter said to him, I have no money at all, but I give you what I have in the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I order you to get up and walk. Verse 7. Then he took him by his right hand and helped him up. At once the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped up, stood at his feet, and started walking around. Then he went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. The people there saw him walking and praising God. Hello, listener. Is that not a mind-blowing scripture? We are celebrating the third month of the year. And as we know that three means number of perfection. God the Father, God the Son, God the Three. It's a very powerful month. It's a perfect month. It's a month of destiny. It's a month of divine favor. It's a month of divine encounter. It is a month where things will be aligned to favor you. God is going to allow things to happen in your life that you never have ever expected. Your imperfection will be taken away. Why? Because the divine nature of God will meet your imperfection. And the perfection will come your way. You will receive the power to be perfect in the things that you will do this month. In the things that are happening around you. Receive that power of perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear a big amen somebody? You know, whatever you call any month is what that month will be for you. And as you listen to this word, this hour. I want you to align yourself with the nature of this month. It's a month of perfection. That something new, the perfect nature of God in us will begin to work in your own life. Can I hear amen? This is the right month, somebody, for you to receive whatever you want in life. Hallelujah. I said, God works in time and God works in season. And in, if you do not tap into the season that is given unto you, what happens is that you will miss that season and you have to wait again for another cycle before that season comes again, before you, move, you make an advancement. But as you hear the sound of my voice, I declare as a servant of Jehovah, Receive enablement to enter into your new system in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I declare that you receive power to be celebrated in this very new month in Jesus' mighty name. I declare that where you have been struggling and people could not identify who you are, people could not see greatness in you, I pray that the eyes of those that will see you this very month, may it be enlarged that they will see the greatness of Christ in you and when they see that greatness, they would help you. Can I hear a big amen, somebody? Hallelujah. So the Bible spoke about this man who was lame he was crippled in other words this man cannot walk so he would look and see other people my god doing things and he would look at himself what he could have done if his legs were appropriate i believe he will be wondering. He will be cursing what must have happened to him. He will be cursing the day he was born. He will be cursing every people around him. He will be in bitterness because he would want to do what men do, but he cannot because he was crippled. Child of God, where are you today? Circumstances of life, have they crippled you? You're watching this network at this time. Circumstances, circumstances of life, have they brought you to a place of halt? A place where you can no more walk. You, you would look at yourself and see what you are capable of doing. But somehow along the line, affliction have come your way. You have become suddenly retarded. Except you have to beg for people to help. That's the time you will get your, your, your food at the mercy of others. My God. I don't know who I'm set up this evening or this hour to reach to. But I believe it is you who have tuned in. I believe that the same Jesus Christ of Nazareth that walked on the seashore of Galilee in the year 2000, uh, more than 2,000 years ago, that same Jesus Christ is coming your way. And that same Jesus Christ, he will remember you. He will do something new in your life. That same Jesus Christ, he is ready to perform miracle in your life right now in the name of Jesus. The Bible said this man, he was crippled, he was lame, and, and, and he was depending upon other people to help him. Every single day, they will carry him, and they will move him to, to this gate, and, and put him there, drop him there. Whether he liked it or not, you see, he had to be moved to that gate. He had to be carried to that gate, except he is being carried. He will remain retarded in one place. If he refused to be carried, that means he will not be able to beg and to find his daily bread for that day. Oh my God, my God, what a ridiculous life he lived. What a life of agony this man must have lived. Oh, that is what is happening to some of you watching me right now. You were able to pay your bills before. You were able to do things for yourself before. But situation or circumstances have come your way that have crippled you, that have paralyzed you. Maybe you moved from Ghana and you came to, um, you came to Holland. You think that things would have been, would have been a, a better place for you, a greener pasture you came to find here. But only to arrive here to be crippled. You don't have your paper. You don't have your family here. You don't have anybody helping you. I mean, the land is so miserable. Everybody's minding his own way. You go to church. Nobody's hooking up with you. And you feel lonely, 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 lonely. And you are regretting. You don't know how to go back. Because when you go back to Africa, or you go back to Suriname, or you go back from wherever you must have left before you came here for a greener pasture, people are going to laugh at you. And they're going to say, is it not the same land where other people are? And they are making it. 
Oh, the agony, the, the, the generational curses in their family. It has followed him back there. He, he goes to Japan, he could not make it. He goes to Hong Kong, he couldn't make it. He goes to America, he couldn't make it. And now he is also back again, back to square one. And they will laugh at you, they will mock at you, they will ridicule you, they will say, aha, aha, aha. Didn't we tell him? Didn't we tell him? He wanted to be like Mr. A, but look at him. He has reached there and now not, nothing is happening. Yes, they are mocking you. It is true, whatever they are saying. But hear ye the word of the Lord. Hmm. God is going to perform a miracle tonight in your life. God is going to do something awesome in your life. God is going to help you. Where nobody has ever helped you, Jehovah will help you. I say Jehovah. Come on, lift up your hand and say, God, say Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, lift up your hand and shout, say, Lord, help me. Say, Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Bible said that the Lord does not, his arms are not uh, uh, shut, nor his eyes blind, that he cannot see you. But what separated us with him is our sin. But right now you are reconciling with Christ through the blood of Jesus Christ. He will no more be separated with you. He is coming your way. And when he comes, he is going to do you good. Hallelujah. Makara Masundo. This man, they carried him. They carried him day in day out. They carried him to that beautiful gate. They carried him to where he must go and beg. Oh, there are some friends who are helping to carry you. So many times, our friends help to carry us to where we will be more devastated. Uh, you know, let me tell you one thing. Somebody who loves you, you so-called friends you are hanging around, if they love you so much, why can't they show you the sort of businesses they are doing? Your boss, even though he claims to love you, he cannot show you how you will become better than him. And that's the reason why you don't need to depend upon man. You don't need to, because if, if your life gets to the level where on, when men carry you before you can receive, and they carry you back before you can receive, my God, my God, it's a hopeless life. If that be your life, if that be your situation, I pray that you have deliverance in Jesus' name. Because there is nothing that you will receive from man that is permanent. Are you hearing me, somebody? Even when they give you a helping hand, they're going to take the helping hand again from, from the backside. If they don't make a mockery of you, they're going to already call you somehow. Are you hearing me, somebody? So nothing that man does which is permanent. Only God Almighty, when he begins to help you, his, his help is permanent. When Jehovah decides to make, make, make ways better for you, my God, nobody can pollute it. That's the reason why you have to look unto God who is the author and the finisher of your faith. And stop looking unto men. Hallelujah. Ah, pick up your phone right now. Give us a call on 020-33-74160. These hands really want to pray for somebody. I want to lay my hands by faith on somebody connecting with you right now. You that is watching me. Maybe you are in your sofa watching and you are grieving and you are grinding and you are whining your, 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 your teeth and, and saying it's over. I want you to know it's not yet over. The power of God is going to hit you through the cable lines. The power of God is going to hit you. And that same Jesus Christ that that man looked onto and saw in the eyes of Peter and John and they said, silver and gold have I not, but in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. I want you to know that good news is coming your way. You're going to rise and walk out of that degraded situation. Can I hear amen? Come on, somebody say yes, Lord. God is not limited. They carry this man and he, they will go and dump him in that gate. And when they dump him, that, that he has no other thing than just to beg. So you know how beggars beg. They will do everything to get attention. So this man, he cannot move, but he has hands to move. So he will be moving his hands uh, and, and uh, maybe using his mouth to scream and, 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 and then asking people, oh, asking them, please help me, please help me, please, please help me, please help me, please help me, please help me. Oh, and then some will spot at him. Some spat, I, I believe, they spat at him. 
some 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 looked at him i mean if, if he has met people who 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 we are rushing for their business uh, business businesses and uh, 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 and and they, they have their metros to catch up with and they have their taxes to catch up with and their time is running against them check out for those sort of people they will really hit him they will hit him hard on those legs and move and 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 cross him over as if it was just a bunch of woods they hit have you not seen that whenever you are down, how people will look down on you? How, how people will treat you as if you are worthless? How, how, they, how they toll with your emotion as if your emotion have, have, have got no, 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 no pain to radiate? Are you hearing me, somebody? Just because they think you are down, you can't take them to court? You cannot, you cannot, you don't have money to, 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 to sue them to court? To get a lawyer for yourself? So they, they trample on you. And, and you look at yourself that used to be so beautiful, you become worn out like an old rose. Listen to me. Life is coming back to you. Hallelujah. I'm encouraged. I am divinely positioned to jack you up, to, let, to stand with you, to let you know that your life is yet about to come up. Your life is yet about to be celebrated. They did not see greatness in you, but I'm seeing greatness in you. Are you hearing me? They did not see any fullness in you, but I am seeing fullness in you. They did not see any hope in you, but I'm seeing hope in you. God is going to position people who are going to come around you this very month, who's going to support you because their eyes will be open. Can I hear a big amen? Their eyes of understanding will be open. Is it not surprising? Many people were trooping there, passing in that busy road, and then neglecting that man, they will just drop some coins, and then they will go. But these two men were passing through the same place. Maka Rabba Sondoria. The Bible said they were going on that very faithful day. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, they were passing through that place. They were entering the temple to go and pray. It was their fasting time. My God. Oh, somebody watching me. Don't throw in that towel. <laughs> Even though the devil is trying to let you have fear around. Fear is, a, is, a, is, is you know, fear is, a, is, a, is a, a false evidence that appears to be real. See, sometimes fear will, 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 will make you think that nobody cares about you. Fear will make you think that nobody is interested about you. Fear will make you think that there, there's not going to be an end to this agony you are going to. It's a lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell. There's going to be an end. As it was that that man, one day, an end came to his agony. One faithful day. That is the same thing I'm declaring to you as a servant of Jehovah. That one day, and it is now, that God will do something new in your life. Maybe you don't have the ability to go out, but you have turned through your iPhone, to your iPad, to your Blackberry, to your smartphone, and you are watching at this webcast. Something is about to happen to you. Today is your new day. Why don't you begin to celebrate and rejoice that you didn't tune into this webcast by accident. Something is about to happen today. Oh, something is going to happen today. Something will happen today. Something will happen today. Something will happen today. Something Something go happen today. What is that that's going to happen? God is going to turn you around. And he's going to help you. He's going to strengthen those legs that are crooked. Those legs that are weak. Strength is going to come. Your path. And you will begin to go the same places you went before and you were rejected. God is going to put people on that path. Makara. By the time they begin to see you, they will know. They will see you from the eye of the spirit. They will see the greatness in you. Just like I'm seeing the greatness in you, somebody. And that greatness that God is radiating out of their eyes. He's going to prompt them to help you. Ha! I say you will be helped. You are looking at a woman that has been abused. I've been terribly abused by people I try to stretch forth my hand to help. I've been terribly abused by people that I try to cancel them out of poverty. People whose marriages were kaput. I try to help them to reconcile with their partners, but they turned their back and slapped me and gave me really wound. I've, I've, I've been wounded by people who I helped. When, when in their family, nobody, nobody gets pregnant. Nobody is ever married. But through my counseling, God helped them and today they are settled. What did they do? They checked out on me, checked out of my ministry and messed up my ministry, turned it around to make it seem as if I, I did them bad. 
to allow them to get married. And what did they do? They began to stage me with all the various gossips and all the various destructions. But God never allowed it to hit me. I mean, and, and you are talking to a woman that has been through many processes in life. Because when the Lord finishes with one, the devil will throw another one. But God will bring me out and out and out. So I'm not telling you that my life has been full of roses. But you know one thing. I have... I have seen the Lord, not forsaken the righteous. I have seen the Lord, his hand being upon me, taking me out of the valley where men thought that I would have remained. But God took me out of that valley and brought me up. The same God who did it for me will do it for you, somebody. Child of God, man, woman, watching me right now, that same Jehovah who helped me, he will help you. Today, your story will change. I tell you, I've ever seen people just criticizing me. And when they, they say, oh, that woman, oh, when she's preaching, oh, she's screaming. Yes, yes, I scream because God is with me. I scream because I'm so joyful that I have Jesus as my friend. I scream because I have him as my savior. I have him as the only one who can understand me. You see, I always tell people, Jesus plus my husband, I'm totally settled. I'm okay. Because when Jesus comes, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they are all on my side, then plus my husband, then I'm okay. So even if people go about gossiping, people go about sinking their head, trying try, try to mess you, listen to me, it doesn't move me. Why? Because I know the people at my side. When you know, and you know beyond all level that God is capable of bringing you out of that mess, you will not allow fear to intimidate you. You will not allow gossip to intimidate you. You will not allow the, 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 the witheredness of the moment to affect you. You will not allow lack of income to affect you. You will not allow lack of friends, people who have deserted you because they cannot catch up with you. Because they know that they are always false. They know that they cannot hook up with the truthfulness around you. And then they go about just jumping out and messing you up, uh, thinking that they will mess you. No, they can't mess you. Because before they know it, their real nature will be discovered again. You see, you don't need to be afraid of people like that. When they leave you because the best the better people are yet to come your way hallelujah i am not moved and i don't want you to be moved when people who cannot hook up with your spirit they are jumping up because light and darkness can never be on the same level truth and lies will never be on the same level hallelujah so child of god yes you god may have allowed you to be going through the processes but better people are coming your way my god i was in a place today where a woman looked into my eyes you said my two minutes when i sat in on uh, in front of her to begin to tell her some few things my god she said what i said this is a motivational speaker my god this woman i i see some greatness in you more than what you are saying about yourself i said really why would other people see it and yet other people don't see it? So when the Lord decides to bring you out of your cage, let me tell you, even worldly people will see the greatness in you, not only those in the church. God will put testimony in the mouths of people on behalf of you. So do not condemn yourself. Do not reject yourself. Do not pack yourself and feel that your end have come just because you lost that business, just because you lost, you lost that marriage, just because you lost that child, just because you lost that, that person who is so close to you, and uh, just because you failed an exam, and then you are thinking that the, all, all hope is shattered. No, 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 no. Help is coming today. I am here loaded with this encouraging word from God. To let you know that it's time for you to arise and walk again. Strength will come in your crippled situation. Strength will come in those areas where you think you have come to a halt. Strength will come in those areas that, that seem so shabby around you. Those, 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 those problems that are very obvious that people look at and they, they, they feel it, it, is, it, is, it is incurable. Strength is coming. And that strength is coming from no other place. It's coming from the throne of heaven. It's coming from Jehovah God Almighty. It's coming from the Yahweh of Israel. I say he will help you. Oh my God. I wish there's somebody to hook me up there. I wish there's somebody to understand that this message is for him. It's not for everyone. It's for somebody who is downcast. It's for somebody who needs an encouragement at this moment. Pick up that call, that phone and give us a call. Pick up that phone and give us a call. I want to partnership with you. I want to pray with you. I want to hook up my faith with you. I'm going to pray for you and something is going to seal the miracle you have received. 
Give us a call on 020-337-4160. Hallelujah. Ah, I feel so delighted when I, I you allow me in your home to jack you up. To preach this engrafted word of the Lord out of this mouth of clay. I feel very glad because I'm doing what I'm called to do. What I'm called to do to preach this gospel. To spread it. To be a fan of Jesus Christ. And to help those who are in need. To, to help them be connected to the right partner. And that is Jesus, not man. When you are connected to Jesus, oh, the way I've, I've, I've come to love him. When you are connected to him, my God. Your shabby life will take a U-turn. That which is devastated will take a U-turn. And it will be made perfect and made sweat. The way God wants it to be. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible said that a certain day came when that man was brought to that place. That gate as usual. And they dumped him as usual, expecting him to go and beg as usual, but not knowing that that day was going to be a day for a turning around situation. Ha ha ha. Today is your turning day. Today is your day of turning around situation. Something is going to turn around for you. <laughs> God is going to send divine helpers. They are just even at your door, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming. Divine help us, Makaraba Sotoria, Lebrondo Soto Brondo. May the Lord release divine angelic visitation around you right now. May Jehovah supply your needs right now. May the Lord bring men and women who have been endowed with wisdom to identify the giftings in your life and they will bring out the greatness that is in you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom I serve. Receive that miracle right now in Jesus' name. Receive, receive, receive that angelic visitation. Receive the people. May God orchestrate something because of you out of heaven right now in the name of Jesus Christ, whom I serve. The Bible said that day, this man positioned himself and was about to do those gimmicks, those, 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 those things because he has mastered it. He has mastered how to give those smiles and get those coins from the people. Uh, so he has mastered. And whoops, what happened? These two gentlemen appeared. Before they appeared there, I believe, from the eye of the spirit, they saw greatness in the life of this man. They said, wow, this is a beggar, but a beggar with difference. Uh, God revealed, God magnified through their eyes. They saw that this man can be healed. They saw that this affliction that came to this man is for an appointed time. They knew that God is capable of healing this man. This man had been undermined. This man had been reduced. But this is a moment for the healing of Christ to flow into the marrows of this man. That is the same thing I'm saying to you right now. This is the ma this is the hour and the season and the time and the moment when the Lord wants to bring you out of your captivity. Can I hear amen? It is for you. So the, 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 the crippled man was looking. Uh, you know, he got the, 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 these two gentlemen got him. He was looking, believing that they are going to drop those coins for him. But amazingly, hey, they said, hey, gentlemen, look at us. In other words, he was used to putting his, his, face, his face down and just doing the same ritual begging. The same way, not being able to even look at those who are passing. All he was interested in is just to grab the coins, grab the coins so that he would be able to buy the burger for the day. Grab the coins, grab the coins. So uh, while he's just looking at this one, he's going this other way looking, just, you know. But these two men, they stood in front of him. They said, look at us. Wow. He was looking. He looked up, managed to look up, thinking that, oh, okay, uh, give me whatever it is and, and, and please go. Just drop the coins now and, 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 and go, go your way. But it wasn't what happened. <laughs> Oh, God is so awesome. My God, I, I hope I have a, a life church here. God is so awesome. The ways of God is so mind-blowing, mind-blowing, mind-blowing. The ways of God can never be understood, can never be comprehended. You cannot box it in your mental box. 
That, that's the reason why right now, you see, Majesty Christian Television Network has come at a time like this to, 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 to sharpen our skills, to, to bring the best out of our lives and to, to help the word of the Lord spread beyond the level it was going from just our pulpits. So if you do not understand the season and the time, you will just continue to do the same old, old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. But God wants you to have a redirection in your life this very moment. Are you hearing me, somebody? Child of God that is agonizing. God just wants you to do just a simple thing. Obey the simple instruction of stretching forth your hand and, and stretching forth your hand towards me. And, and let the power of God be released right now to this channel, into your home. Let the power of God be released right now to this channel, into your body, if wherever you are having ache, wherever you are having pain, wherever you are having your disappointment, wherever you are expecting the healing hands of the Lord to flow, the Bible says he sent forth his word and healed them in all their diseases. He sent forth his word. He sent forth his word. The word of the Lord going out of my mouth right now is capable of healing you. It's capable of, of destroying the yoke upon your life. It's capable of reviving you. It's capable of making total newness out of uh, into your life. It's capable of restoring your, your children who are in crack homes. The word of the Lord has been sent. Hallelujah. The Bible said that the servants of Jehovah they looked into the face of this man and they said to him, look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Why? Why was it necessary that he had to look? Because from the moment he looked into the eyes, Maku, Robo, Satan, I believe that Jesus reflected through those eyes. Are you hearing me? Jesus must have reflected through the eyes of the servants of the Lord. Oh, Jesus reflected through their eyes and Peter and Paul. Jesus reflected through their eyes and and, 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 and and, and the, that blind, that, that grateful man was not able to see the faith. He was able to see the God that is in them. He was able to tap into the anointing that was upon their life. Are you hearing me, somebody? When he looked, strength began to makurobo. Virtue began to leave the body of this man of God and, and began to hit him. And the Bible said, they say, silver and gold we do not have, but what we have in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That's the same thing. I may not have silver or gold to give unto you. I may not have so much of money to give to you. I may not have you know those flattering words that that uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, fictitious women normally have you know, so my, my my words may be too sharp but this sharp this sharp word is gonna heal you tonight i say it's gonna heal you tonight hallelujah this this word that is being spoken is going to heal you the same the, the same god who changed that man who positioned those two men to meet him. My God. And they saw greatness. You see, many people may, may not have seen the greatness of Christ in you. They may not have even seen what God wants to do in your life. And that's why they have looked down at you. They have looked down. And even some of you watching me right now, you may not have seen the greatness that is in you. And that's also why you go to places you ought not to go. You carry yourself like nobody, nobody, nobody. But as you watch me this hour, I want you to jack yourself up. I want you to reconstruct your mind and begin to carry yourself like somebody who is worthy. Carry yourself like somebody that Jesus loves. C carry yourself like somebody who is expecting to receive. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9, it says that the, the eyes has not seen, nor ear heard, nor no, no, have entered into the heart of men the things which God had preferred for them that love him. God has something so gracious for those whom he loves. And you are part of those that God loves. I am part of the people that God loves. That's why I can stand here or sit here to encourage you. So, because those people, the other people who passed this uh, crippled man uh, begging, didn't see what God had in stock. That's why they neglected him. So, don't worry about those who have dumped you. Don't worry about those who have looked down on you. Don't worry about those who have ridiculed you. And those of you who are pastors, don't worry about those who have left your ministry and tried to wreck it. They can't wreck it. Because the Bible said that, 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 that the church is God's idea, not man's idea. As long as, as long as the church is God's idea, God will build his church. And the gates of gossips and the get of distrust, the, the, the destructive men and women, the gates of Jezebelic forces that have come will never ruin the church of God. 
Yes, people may have left, but that's not the end. Are you hearing me, somebody? So position yourself to begin to, to, to receive what the word of God has said over your life. He said, eyes have not seen it. Don't you see? Eyes have not yet seen what God wants to make out of you. When that time comes, he will position the right people and they will come your way. Just like this man be able to come to the life of this crippled man at a time he never expected. And they saw greatness in him. That's the same way. Through this media, I'm seeing greatness in you. And I want you to know, I want to stand with you in prayer. You're not going to throw in the towel because it's not yet over. You're not going to believe the lies of the devil as if nobody loves you. I love you. And I know first and foremost, Christ, he loves you. And because he loves you, he has positioned his servants to be bringing the word of God into your life at a time like this. And one of them is me. So that your life can be reconstructed. Hallelujah. That man looked. He looked at the servants of the Lord. And the Bible says strength came. They said they stretched for their hand and grabbed him. I could, I could understand how he must have been wumbling. You know, wumbling. The, 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 the feet just shaking because there was no strength before. But as he, as, he, as he did what they told him to do, faith began to come into those legs. Faith and healing began to come into those legs before you knew it. Wow! He arose. Strength came upon those legs. The Bible said he began to limp and he began to jump. He began to limp and he began to jump. He looked and he looked and said, Nami, is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? That's what God is going to do for you. Very soon you're going to dance that dance of is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Because you will never believe that you are the one that God has set free out of your captivity. You will never believe that God is capable, has restored such beauty into your life again. You will never believe that that thing that went bad and went sour will be restored. The sweetness will come back into it. You will never because God's power will perform that miracle at a time that everyone have given up in you. I believe that you have been encouraged. I believe that God is with you. And I believe that your life will never be a disgrace. In this very season and in this very moment God will do something new in your life he will you will arise and testify of the goodness of Jehovah in your life in your family in that business I pray that the Lord will sustain the word you have heard tonight I pray that the Lord will empower this word to perform its power in your life. You will call and you will give testimony of this day that you heard the word of God from this woman of God. I thank God that this prayer has been sealed with the blood of Jesus. And you will testify that God, he is a good God. Thank you for listening. Thank you, my viewers. This is no other person but Apostle Helen Root, Dokeno of Rivers of Life Bible Church, where Jesus reigns as Lord. In case you are looking for a you are you 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 are on church, that means you don't have church. You can give us a call on 020-697-5424. I repeat, 020-697-5424. Or give us a call on our private phone on 0626-046. 432 and tell us how we may help you give us a call we can pick you up to any of our sunday services from 10 o'clock or any of our friday services from seven may god richly bless you till this time next week have a good evening bye Yeah, yeah, no, baby.
Yeah. Who made the end? Who made the soda? 